uh, exponential uh, book work um, page page five number three the equation m of t equals 150 times the quantity 0 0.9 to the t power gives the amount um, gives the amount in grams of a radioactive material kept in a, la a laboratory for t years. Sketch the graph of the function m for 0 to 100 years. Write down the equation of the horizontal asymptote to the graph. Find the mass of the radioactive material after 20 years. Calculate the number of years it will take for the radioactive material to have a mass of 75 grams. Um, this is uh, really similar to the exploration, uh, but instead of drugs in the blood, uh, what you're working with is radioactive uh, material. Uh, but it's the same principle. Um, they both uh, decline um, at an exponential rate, so the graphs will look similar. Um, so let's see. We uh, will use the calculator to graph the function first. Um, so let's put the, I'm just clearing out all these equations. And then we're going to put in this function, 150. 0.9 to the x. Okay, they say t, but we have to use x because we're using the calculator. And uh, we're graphing, but uh, we probably are better off looking at the table. So here's the table. We're more interested at t equals 0 and beyond so we'll go to x equals zero okay there we are that makes sense right at uh, x equals zero at zero years the quantity of radioactive material is 150 um, because the multiplier at the front of the exponent is 150 right so when t equals zero um, it makes sense that um, you have 150 times 0 0.9 to the 0. Remember, anything to the 0 power is 1, so that's just equal to 150, right? And uh, let's say if you have t equals 1, that would be 150 times 0 0.9 to the 1st. So that would be 0 0.9 times 150, which is equal to um, 90, 90 plus 45, 135, okay, and so on. So um, that gives us the first two values. You can see that if you look at the calculator, you have those two points, 0, 150 and 1, 135. Um, first, it asks us to sketch the function between 0 and 100. So we'll do that here. We'll say this is 0. This is 100. Um, at 0, it's 150. So we'll say that this is 100. And this is 150. And so, like, what would it be at 50 years? Let's look at that. So, maybe we'll get some, an intermediate value, like at um, 25 or so. Get another value. So, at 25, it is 10.78. Here's 25. Well, 10.78, that's already really small, isn't it? So it's actually like about there, right? So 50 is really small. Look at that. Fifty would be 0.77. Wow, super small. Okay, so it's basically almost at zero now. Okay, so that's the sketch, uh, which is part A. Part B says write down the equation of the horizontal asymptote to the graph. Well, um, if you look at this, it's obviously approaching um, zero, right? We 
can see it's getting smaller and smaller. Now it's at 0.3, now it's at 0.2, now it's at 0.1, now it's going to go below 0.1, 0 0.0, and then pretty soon it's going to go below 0 0.01. So you can see that by the time it gets to 100, it's going to be 0 0.00 something, right? So, yeah, so like the asymptote, the horizontal asymptote is this one here, which is y equals 0. So we say the equation of the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. It's a horizontal line at height 0. Find the mass of the radioactive materials after 20 years. Okay, so um, we could do this with the um, calculator. Uh, or with the graph, I mean, or with the table, or with the graph. I'm just going to change the uh, delta here because it's easier if we just change it to jump by tens, right? So now we can check 20 years pretty quickly. So the the amount of radioactive material after 20 years is 18.236. 18.236 grams, I think. Is it grams? Yeah. Um, calculate the number of years it will take for the radioactive material to have a mass of 75 grams. Oh, well, um, whoops. Wow, look at that. Somewhere between 0 and 10, it's already at 75. So we're going to have to change the uh, delta again. So we'll change the delta to 1 again. Okay. See when it gets to 75. Ooh, have a mass of 75. So it looks like uh after seven years because at seven years it has a mass of 71.745 grams okay um okay and that was number three